Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Leroy here from Plug In Master. I got my man Ryan here from Reason. Tell me what's up, baby. What's up, Leroy? What's up, Plug In Masters? <laughs> How you guys doing? Yeah, we're here at Super yeah. Brood. First time for Plug In Masters. This First time, y'all. Nice, and uh, it's a, it's, I don't know how many times we've been here. It's my second time personally with Reason Studios here, and we're here showing Reason 13 and showing Reason in general and kind of getting the, the modular hardware crowd at Superbooth interested in the virtual modular crowd yeah. over on the Reason Rack, so. Well, he said the magic thing, y'all. Look out for it. Reason 13 is on its way. That's right, that's right. New devices coming, adding to the favorites you've already got in the rack, so we're really excited. I'm getting a heads up on it, right? Ryan is going to hook me up with the heads up. we see you guys later. Okay, so um, you can see here we have the brand new Reason 13. Okay, so one of our new features is the browser section. You can see all types, instruments, patches, effects, players. You get your loops, your samples, and your MIDI files. And you can just go over to categories and tags. And it's really simple to find the instruments or the sounds that you want. This is great. Now, second feature that they got is the new synth. It's called a polytone. And we have an A and a B, so it's two synths. And A, you can click from both one or the other, A or B. And you can see right here the sequencer. Should be a lot easier for a lot of users that's in the past. And let's go back to the polytone synth. Now, this is a dual layer synthesizer, right? You got A and you got actually B. Now you can go to mix and you can listen to the two, a mix of the two. And you got Morphous also. Okay, and you can see you can swing a little bit if you want a little bit more of the A side versus the B, you can do that. You got your oscillators, you got your filters, amp, you got your mixer, you got your LFO, your mode, your filter, and your amp. And then right underneath that, you have a effect section, voice. You can see you got to play different type of key modes. You got your LFO, right? You can change the rate. This is the global. You can also synchronize that to your tempo, etc. You have also the chorus, where you got a bunch of different effects there. You got a flanger, slow and fast, and you also have your reverb when you can change from an echo to a hall to a room and you have your DK and the amount of reverb that you want. So let's continue. You can see here, this is the new Ripley's delay. You know, this is um, combines both a delay and a reverb. And you can see right here, I'm working on the delay time. And then also you can add noise and you also have distortion. And don't forget, you can actually EQ it, select the EQ button, and then you can actually modify some frequencies there the low end and the high end okay so our next section is all the tools so you can see we have a gain tool a sidechain tool and we have a stereo tool now on the gain tool you can actually modify the gain a little bit to the right a little bit to the left you have some selection here wide with pan you got the dual pan and the rotor Next one is we have the side chain tool. You can see here that I'm changing the rate. There's one fourth, there's one eighth. You can also modify the attack and the release of that. And the last tool is the stereo tool, which is really great. This is just stereo imaging. You can make the, uh, the sound wider. And this is a really nice function. All this stuff is really easy access. The sidechain one is one of my favorite ones because it just works automatically and it's very simple to use. So you can see these five new um, features and um, reason. It's just marvelous. It's great. You guys got to check this out. All right. So there it is. Um, reason 13. Some of the new features. You guys can enjoy it. Make some great music. See you guys in Plugin Masters later. <laughs>